I am in a really beautiful spot in the city. Where the two rivers that go through the city converge. That's the raccoon there. And it empties into the Des Moines. This is the spot where the city was founded in the uh, what mid 1800s by French settlers. That probably comes as no surprise given the name Des Moines, which literally translates into from the monks. Anyway, it's really beautiful here. A little bit of trash. Could probably be cleaned up a bit, but still. Real nice area. You can tell this has all been here a long time. I swing around here, you can see downtown there in the distance. Actually, not far. I'm gonna go there in a bit. And right here in the middle of frame, that's the Capitol building in the distance. The wife and I will visit that later today. But I love rivers. Always like to come down to the shores of uh, rivers when I get to a town. They usually don't disappoint. This one doesn't either. It's really nice here, peaceful quiet you would never know we're right in the middle of the city I mean in the center yeah there's a little bit of trash though that's unfortunate people who do this I pretty much despise I will admit why would you throw your trash on the ground in a beautiful place like this. Yeah, I don't get it. Anyway, I want to come down here first. I will be heading to the city center here in a second. That will be the next place I go. take a look over here the sounds of Des Moines on a Tuesday morning about 11 o'clock it's about 70 degrees out here a little bit gloomy cloudy yeah very nice All right, well, downtown right there. Time to go take a look. Woo! There's the train going by. <laughs> what a great sound. That building is called 801 Grand. It's the tallest in the city. Mostly office space. Um, Des Moines is not a big city. There's only 214,000 people in the city proper. That's 106th in the U.S. And the metro area is just shy of 720,000, 82nd in the U.S. It's not a big city, but it has a impressive skyline for its size. A lot of that is because it is the third largest insurance center in the world. Some of the other accolades for Des Moines Every four years, it is ground central for U.S. politics as uh, future hopeful presidents come here first to caucus. And um, as far as livability, U.S. News and World Reports rank the city as fourth in livability and it ranks it second in lowest crime. The city with the lowest crime in the country, according to the magazine, is Green Bay. But at number two, 
that ain't bad and I can pretty much verify this we've drove around the city quite a bit already I mean it is beautiful and clean and in no place that we have driven has it felt dangerous yeah see those guys in green city employees cleaning the city streets and they are clean I've been walking around haven't seen anything there are other cities in the US that could learn from this now there in the middle frame is part of the famous Des Moines skywalks the uh, skywalks in the city are among the most extensive in the world they crisscross through all the intersections here over four miles worth critics say it uh, doesn't promote walkability in the city you can basically walk all around this downtown indoors in these skywalks yeah I see another one down the street there I kind of see the point in it though because winters here are pretty rough and it's probably pretty nice to be able to stay out of the weather um, in the winter as you walk around downtown yeah you can walk all through downtown in these in fact in the clip right before this one I was standing right there on that intersection Yeah, climate controlled, nice and quiet. Yeah, as I walk through the city center, those skywalks, they're, they're just everywhere. <laughs> Always get a laugh when I see that. That is a chain of convenience stores slash gas stations here in Iowa that go all the way down to northern Oklahoma and Missouri you see them everywhere but I don't know maybe it's just me but that name is a little bit unfortunate <laughs> I get a chuckle every time I see it a little more of the skyline as I cruise through it big mural here in downtown it's pretty awesome, huh? The sun's coming out, so it's starting to look really beautiful out here. It's always nice to see artwork like that. The Capitol building is straight down the street. As I said earlier, the wife and I will be visiting that this afternoon. I'm walking above the Des Moines River at the moment that direction is where I started the video where it uh, meets the Raccoon River there's downtown it's beautiful isn't it a really impressive small city may be able to see the gold dome of the capitol poking out above those trees it's a really nice spot so it may or may not surprise you but des moines is pretty serious with their commitment to the arts you saw some of the uh, downtown artwork they have a place here called the papa john sculpture park it's from what I understand pretty amazing I'm gonna head over there now okay so I'm at the John and Mary Papa John sculpture park um, you can see already that a lot of it is unusual this looks straight out of a Tim Burton movie doesn't it that's something that as well And there's another one right along here kind of the same idea a 
Wow, it's cool, huh? Wow. I'm not sure what I think of this one. As you can see, it's clearly the sculpture of a woman. That's fascinating, isn't it? It's amazing, isn't it? Almost got a horror theme to it. You know, a lot of these sculptures. A Halloween theme even. I bet they have really good Halloween uh, festivals here. Look at that horse. It's made, that is wood. Another one over here. It's like old treated wood, it looks like. Branches. And then over here, again, following through with the seriously Halloween uh, theme. That's spooky, isn't it? Wanted to add that it wasn't a bad drive over here. There's the skyline of the city, which was nice. There's something over here I'm going to take a look at. Another one of the more unusual sculptures here. It's interesting. But is it art? I guess that's in the eye of the beholder. Hmm. Anyway, I've worked up quite a thirst roaming around downtown Des Moines. So I think it's time I had myself a beer. So I'm going to go to one of the local bars and check it out. I'm heading to a place called Iowa Tap Room. Apparently one of the better draft beer places in the city. So I'm going to see if they have a good stout. All right, Iowa Tap Room. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm going to uh, check it out right now. All right, I'm having a locally brewed cherry bourbon stout that's been aged for six months. It's really strong, around 11%. You can really taste the sweetness of the cherry and the hint of the bourbon. It's freaking yummy. Uh, really strong though, over twice stronger than a normal beer. So uh, I'll just be having the one. Pretty cool place. Lots and lots of draft beers, all locally brewed. You can see the crowd here is mostly those who work in the Capitol building. Well, they say while in Rome, I'm having some Iowa ham balls. H-A-M balls. Made locally here. It's just what it sounds like. Those are fried balls of ham in a tropical sauce with pineapple. You mix it all together when you take a bite and it is, it is really yummy. It's fantastic. This is Jay and Silent Bob's Cherry Cider. Oh, it's fantastic. And this is a tropical pineapple cider. Yeah, I'll get to spit out. Tropical pineapple cider. This one's the better one. Okay, so I decided to take a bit of a detour and drive through what is statistically the most dangerous neighborhood in Des Moines. Right? I'm just curious. How bad can it be based on everything else I've seen? Well, this is it. This is the worst neighborhood in the city. It's called Capital East. What do you guys think? I mean, let's not kid yourself. It's a little rough here and there. But comparatively, hmm, this is not bad. I'm right in the middle of the neighborhood. Um, yeah, I'll keep driving a little bit. I mean, you got a couple places here that could use a little work. That looks a little rough, doesn't it?
Very green though, huh? Lots of trees. Lush lawns. There's a house that looks like it's returning to nature, huh? A couple of them here. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. But, um... You know, a lot of them are okay, just fine. Go down a couple more streets. Yeah, it's not bad at all, really. Yeah, I'm still in this neighborhood. This is it. <laughs> the worst neighborhood in the city. Houses are small, but you know, that doesn't really mean anything. They're still pretty well kept up. You're not seeing trash laying all over the ground like you do in some of these uh, terrible neighborhoods. So, yeah, I think this is all we need to see. All right, just to be fair, I'm gonna drive through a beautiful neighborhood in Des Moines. And this one is, this is actually just a block away from our hotel. Just drive uh, out of the hotel parking lot, and this is what I see. This really beautiful neighborhood. Old wooden houses that have been well kept. Very beautiful. Am I right? This is just a really nice neighborhood. Look at that house. It's gorgeous. So all of you Des Moines natives, don't scream and yell at me just because I showed a bad neighborhood. I'm showing a good neighborhood now. And it really is beautiful. Look at this. Look at these beautiful old houses. Even that one, which is really small. All right. Uh, look at that. Gorgeous. All right, so... For real, I'm going to pick up the wife and uh, we are going to head to the Capitol building, as I said, and after that, to a zombie bar. I'm not going to lie, I'm really looking forward to that. Well, there's the city <laughs> behind us. Well, there's the wife right there. Behind us is the state capitol. We are heading there right now. First thing we see is a fountain. It's a buffalo head with water coming out of his mouth. Not a lot of water though, huh? Well, enough. It looks like that's not supposed to come out. Yeah, I guess enough. Another fountain. This is a nice one, huh? Now this building is really interesting for some scaffolding they're working on one of the wings it looks like but in addition to the big gold dome in the middle got those little ones on each side didn't it yeah, it looks like there's four little four little domes on each side yeah it's a really cool looking green color on top the whole building's color is different it's kind of it's kind of a orange yeah yellow I'm trying to peg that kind of architecture, but I'm thinking Middle Eastern almost. Looks like something you might see in Turkey, huh? That's what the dome on the side reminds me of. Like the domes on the side remind me of that. Yeah. Something in Turkey. Well, I'm sure. Maybe it's stuff, I'm not sure, but that, the, the domes on the end do remind me yeah. of that as well. Yeah, it looks Middle Eastern, don't they? Well, we'll find out when we get inside, I'm sure. There's the Grand Army of the Republic. Yeah, it's a cool sundial except for one problem. There's there no ain't sun. no sun today. <laughs> it's cloudy here. It's been cloudy all day. Gloomy and cloudy. Yeah, a quick close-up of one of the uh, side domes. 
That's interesting, huh? What'd you say? I'm surprised they allow homeless people to sleep right on the ground. See? Some cannons protecting the uh, capital from siege. What'd you say? I'm surprised they allow homeless to sleep right on the grounds. Oh, gosh, you're right. Yeah, somebody homeless right there sleeping away. Right on the grounds of the capital, though? That's odd. You know what? That's the first homeless person I've seen, too. <laughs> I haven't seen any in the city, the downtown. Or I didn't see any. Wow. We're here, we see that we can't go in the front doors. <laughs> so, unless we're an employee, which we're not. Oh, so we gotta find the entrance. Should be on this. I didn't do it, I swear. All right, here's the entrance. And all the sc scaffolding. Here we go. Who would park here? <laughs> I don't get that. You want to make sure, I suppose. <laughs> That's funny. Are you press this or no? Hmm? No? No? Yes. Oh. No. Wow, they magically opened for us. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. I wouldn't be surprised if there's no security. But this is the entrance to the Iowa Capitol building. Hmm. Look at this. Only concealed pistols and there you go. Yep. Oh, yep, there is security. Alright, we're in. Huh? Well the first thing we'll do is go get your book stamped, okay? Your capital passport. It's probably right here. Is your stamp? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me see. Yay. All right. Good morning. I guess I'll have to take this one because I stamped it to make sure it was like the right side up. <laughs> All right, we just came up those stairs. Seen a lot of marble. Let me back up so you can see the grandeur. That's something. Wow. That's beautiful. beautiful. I've said it before. The most beautiful buildings in any state is pretty much the capital. Look at that. The dome is this way, so we're going to head there now. I mean, look at this light fixture. Isn't that something? <laughs> that is amazing. Look at that huge painting. Whoa. We're going to go up there and look at it in a minute. And I love this light fixture, though. But let's head to the middle. Yeah, look at this. Every time I go to a capital in Florida, how beautiful it is. I'll go into another one. And it's just as amazing. Look at that. Wow, that is gorgeous. Very beautiful. Look at the doorway to the Supreme Court. And the room itself is pretty incredible. That's some room. Nice view of the city. Behind me is a huge replica of the USS Iowa. According to this information, the dome was designed with French influences. So that actually makes sense. Yeah, Paris, in fact. That makes sense since the city was founded by French explorers, and Des Moines is a French word. So this doll case is full of dolls of the wives of all the governors of the state. They have all been men till the current governor, who is female. And that is her husband, so that's the only male in the case. Because <laughs> they have their first female governor. That's why it's called governor first Reynolds. spouses and not first wives. Yeah, it's called first spouses now. Yeah, Kevin Reynolds. Yeah, Governor Kim Reynolds. So that's why 
he's here. <laughs> I wonder if he felt kind of funny about that. That's think? what I'm saying. If, if, if I were he, I would say, can't we hide me in the back somewhere? Nope, he's front and center. Yeah, I'm going to go into the library, but be quiet. Just get a look at it. That's unreal. Look at all that. Holy mackerel. That is something. Looks like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe that. Oh, there's a circular staircase. There had to be one to get all the way up there. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah, another circular staircase over here. Wow. That's all you can say when you see this, especially in person. This book was hand printed in the 14th century before the printing press. The language is Latin. Wow. All right. That was interesting, huh? It was a beautiful building. It's one of the most beautiful we've seen. Yeah, it's one of the most beautiful Capitol buildings we've seen. They're all beautiful though, but still, or pretty much all beautiful. But uh, what did we learn? Iowa became oh, a state in 1848. 18, 1846. Oh, 1846. That's what okay. You told me. <laughs> and and it was uh, the what? The 29th state. Yeah, 29th state, and the Capitol building was finished uh, in 1886. So this building was finished in 1886 at a cost of 2.9 million. So there it is, Iowa. Well, the plan now is to. Uh, Go to a real cool bar. We get a view of the downtown real quick. I owe a, you owe a me a night out. That's what you yeah, we're, us. yeah, we're going to go to a bar. It's a uh, zombie-themed bar that's uh, highly regard, highly regarded here. So I'm well, looking we know forward to it. My wife didn't pick a zombie-themed bar. <laughs> yeah. We're walking up to the Zombie Burger and Drink Lab. This place is supposed to be real cool. Zombie themed. Looks a little dead if you ask me. <laughs> That's okay. So, uh, in we go. We got we got zombies already. Yeah. Cool, huh? There you go. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go to the bar. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. If I was to own a bar, it would be like this. Thanks, man. All right, we are having, uh, that's uh, jalapeno stuffed with goat cheese. Mm -hmm. And I'm having a bourbon stout. And then she's having Jack Daniels. Yeah, I guess I'm having Jack Daniels. Here at the uh, zombie bar. And it's even got zombie of the dead, or I'm sorry, not zombie of the dead, Shaun of the dead playing on TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, that was pretty good. I'm stuffed. It was, yeah, it was very good. So that's the end of a, a long day in Des Moines. We are heading to Kansas City in the morning. So be looking for that video. Yeah.